canary seed has primarily been used as a bird feed and this is a really good opportunity to introduce it as a food. It has a very high protein level, very similar to pulses, has a unique amino acid profile, is gluten free. One of the challenges with canary seed is how do you get the food industry to take it up and use it as an ingredient in foods? How do we describe what canary seed tastes like? So the critical part of the research project is saying, well, how do we build what's called a sensory lexicon? The other one is looking at product development. What else can we put canary seed into? Can it be used in baked products to provide additional protein? It could actually provide some really good nutritional benefit to individuals who need gluten-free products. From a producer perspective, it provides an alternative crop. The hairy canary seed, if you can imagine, was very, very itchy. Through Pierre Huckle's program, with these hairless canary seeds, you remove the silica that causes the itch, and therefore it's a much safer product for farmers to harvest. Harvest. And as soon as the yield starts to really improve, there will be increased uptake by producers. We're also looking at microbial quality. We just want to ensure that from a stability perspective, the product is safe for consumers to eat. Like all other crops, you have to find multiple uses for all the co-products in order to make that a profitable crop for producers. Nancy Ames, who's the principal investigator with the, with the Canary Seed Project, um, has optimized the dehulling method for canary seed, which means that now it can be scaled up to an industrial scale. It will now allow more canary seed to go into the marketplace. Belonging to a diverse field crops cluster has been a real benefit to the Canary Seed Commission. One, we've been able to leverage the producer dollars with Ag Canada dollars. The other advantage to DFCC is they're looking at it from a very broad, uh, higher level perspective than canary seed and recognizing the opportunities there are to do uh, collaborative research with the other crops. In five or ten years, I'd love to see canary seed on the shelf and have consumers buy it as a gluten-free product. I think there's an immense opportunity for canary seed.